first tonight, gone without a trace. 49-year-old Fred Byrne dropped off his son at Hope College Tuesday, and then he went to visit his mom in Holland Township. He headed toward Rivertown Crossings Mall to get his wife a Valentine's gift before planning to go home back to Big Rapids, but he never made it. He disappeared, and no one's seen him since. 24 Hour News 8 Steve Kelso talked with Burns family tonight. He's live at Rivertown Crossings as they try to figure out what might have happened. Steve? Yeah, good evening. Police have actually spent some time going through security cameras here today at Rivertown Crossings. But right now, no one can say with any certainty whether Fred Byrne ever actually made it here. Today, I went up to Big Rapids and spoke with his wife. I would miss him if it wasn't Valentine's Day, but he is the love of my life, so. In 27 years, Fred Byrne has never missed a Valentine's Day with his wife, Diane. Since Tuesday night, she's been waiting. I just want him to walk in the back door. The range of emotions. I'm mad at him because he didn't bring his gloves or his boots. And the fear. Now it gets harder, it gets scarier. That's why I'm so emotional. And none of it makes any sense. He would never do anything that would hurt us. And he knows that that would hurt incredibly, which is why I'm scared. And tonight, Diana Burns Valentine's gift to her husband sits in a box in his study. And Diana is alone, left to wonder. And I keep thinking that what if uh, he wouldn't have gone to Rivertown to pick up a gift or if he just would have come straight home. But I can't, what if it, I can't, I can't uh, think about that. I just have to think that he's going to be okay. He's going to walk in the back door and I'm going to give him hell for being gone for so long. Now take a good look at this picture of Fred Byrne. Diana thinks he has on a baseball cap, possibly an orange Hope College football hat. Their son plays football there. She also knows that he had a Hope sweatshirt on. The 2005 Chevy Malibu he is driving is silver. No one has seen any, any sign of the car or of him. Diana also tells me tonight that her husband does not own a cell phone. So there is no way to GPS track it. That's why it's so important tonight and if you have seen anything or know anything to contact police. Live in Granville, Steve Kelso, 24 Hour News 8.